So this is a common question that we get uh, for Windows users. Uh, so if you're a Mac user or a Chromebook user, this is not for you. But if you're a Windows user, a question that we happen to get all the time is, hey, Tim, when I have something on the screen and I need to type, and I'll, I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll fire up Chrome and I'll go to my profile here and you can see I've got a flashing cursor there. I want to have the touch keyboard appear when I touch the cursor. And you can see that I did that and the touch keyboard didn't appear. That's a question that we get all the time. Now, one of the first things that I always ask folks when we run into a situation like this is, well, first of all, is your touch keyboard active in Windows? And we can tell in this case that mine is uh, because the touch keyboard button is down there. We actually have videos that also talk about making sure your touch keyboard is active in Windows. So be, be on the lookout for those. But in this case, yes, my touch keyboard is there. Because this is true, this is not really a crisis because I could always just touch the button and then, hey, there it is. There's the touch keyboard. Okay, but of course, every time I want to do that, I have to lean over here and touch that button. It's not nearly as convenient as it would be if I could just touch the cursor and then have the keyboard appear that way. Absolutely. So there is a way to make that happen. So I'm going to show you the routine if you're a Windows 10 user, because you can see that's what I'm using here is Windows 10. It is also possible to do this if you're a Windows 11 user, uh, but Windows 11 menus are a little bit different. So be on the lookout for more videos uh, talking about that. But we're going to focus on Windows 10 today. So the way to set up the keyboard so that it appears when you touch that flashing cursor uh, when you're ready to type is to have your keyboard open like it is here. And then right here in this top left-hand corner, there's a settings button. It looks like a, a keyboard, a little gear on it. And that opens up the menu that allows you to choose what kind of keyboard you want. And there's another settings button here. It looks like a gear once again. Give that a touch. And it opens the typing settings in Windows. And then we scroll down a little bit until we come to this section right here labeled touch keyboard. And there's a switch right here at the bottom. It's labeled show the touch keyboard when not in tablet mode and there's no keyboard attached. And that's actually a little bit of a pro tip. If you do have a physical keyboard attached, whether it's wired or wireless, then this won't matter. No, no matter what happens, the touch keyboard is not going to automatically appear if Windows detects that there's another physical keyboard there. So once again, this isn't going to apply. But if you don't have any other kind of keyboard selected, then yes, we can make this work. So we turn that switch on and then I'm going to go ahead and close this window. And here I am back in Chrome. So there's my flashing cursor. I'm going to touch it. And lo and behold, there's the touch keyboard. So if you're in Windows 10 and you would like that touch keyboard to more conveniently appear when you're ready to type, just make sure that in the typing settings that the section for uh, when, they're in, when not in tablet mode, make sure that switch is on and your touch keyboard will appear far more conveniently.